All right, so as you all know, Design Space is online, and in order for the online program to interact with the Cricut Explore, the Explore One, you need to have this plugin. Okay, there's no way to get around it. You just need it, and you need to download it. So whenever you go to Design Space for your very first time, you need to download the plugin. Now, if you're seeing this screen and you've already downloaded the plugin, well, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because we'll explain why you may see this, okay? All right, you came to this page, all you have to do is click this green button and you'll start the download process, okay? And it's about seven megabytes, not, not a whole lot, but let's go ahead and jump into the spot where I've already downloaded it. Let's see what's inside the folder. Okay, so once it's downloaded, this little blue arrow will show up and it says go ahead and uh, click this in order to launch the plugin. There's a couple more steps that we actually have to do for this. So, But uh, I actually like going to the folder itself. So on the Chrome anyway, we have this little drop down button that says, uh, you know, show in Finder or on Windows it will show in Folder. And uh, as you can see, it's right here. I created a specific folder for the Cricut. Uh, for this little plugin, just so we can see what's inside the file. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this into my folder. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and double click this. And uh, that's how we extract on a Mac. If you're on Windows, you will right click the zip file and click the button that says extract here. Okay, or extract all. Uh, whichever one yours may say. Now this right here is just a little installer app and you just double click it and you click open. Now the the next thing is this menu will pop up here and it's going to take you through the installation process and you're going to click next and you're going to click install after you accept and now it's installing the the plugin. Okay, and then once it's done, you'll notice uh, after this page here, in on Mac anyway, you'll notice in the top right here we have a little Cricut bug. Okay, and on Windows, I'll show you what that looks like here on Windows. Under your task taskbar, you'll see that same little Cricut bug. Okay, now what I told you at the beginning of the video is this cricket bug needs to be running every single time that you visit this page and I think what cricket has done is it automatically uh, loads every time your computer is turned on automatically but sometimes uh, you know this may not be present and that is why you see that original page that we had if I uh, if I go back, all right, you can see that that plugin page is gone. Now I'm going to go ahead and quit this application. See the little cricket bug? I'm going to go ahead and quit. I'm going to refresh this page. And you'll notice that my design space is no longer working and it's telling me that I need to download that plugin again. But uh, the best part about this is we don't need to keep downloading this, okay? Uh, on Mac, if you uh, either hit command space bar, you can type in Cricut. Okay, uh, Cricut Design Space, that's what you need. Okay, if you are on Windows, uh, you should have been asked the question, would you like to place this on your desktop? And you'll, you'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, that we have Cricut Design Space right here. So that, that's the Cricut Design Space bug that we need. If we don't see it in the taskbar, that is why it's always asking you to download the plugin even though you already have in the past. And they tell us that all future updates uh, will be automatic and we won't have to do that again. Okay, so that's the Cricut Design Space plugin. Hopefully you got something out of that uh, and got you going in the right direction. But you do need it in order to use Design Space. And if you ever get that error, make sure uh, you have your Cricut Design Space bridge up and running, okay?